Yen Lu of Shanghai demonstrates the Wu family Tai Chi Chuan. The inventor of this style, Wu Yuxing, learned the original old Chen style Tai Chi from Yang Luchan. On a trip to visit his brother, he learned of Master Chen Jinping, who taught the Xiao Jar style, also known as the new Chen style. Xiao means small, Jar means form. Thus, it was called the small style of Chen Tai Chi Chuan. Wu Yuxing stayed with Master Chen to learn his adaptation of the Chen style and to perfect his skill. Master Wu adapted the new and old Chen styles into Wu style Tai Chi Chuan. Wu Yuxing passed the system to Li Yi Yu, a famous master of the style who wrote the treatise entitled The Five Character Secret, which we have excerpted. The five characters are calm, breath, agility, internal force, and spirit. The first is calm. The mind should be calm. If it is not, one cannot concentrate. And when the arm is raised, whether forward or back, left or right, it is completely without certain direction. Secondly, use breath to gather chi. If the chi is dispersed, then it is not stored or accumulated, and it is easy to scatter. Let the chi penetrate the spine, and the inhalation and exhalation be smooth and unimpeded throughout the entire body. Third, agility. If the body is clumsy, then in an advancing or retreating, it cannot be free. Therefore, it must be agile. Once you raise your arm, you cannot appear clumsy. When holding up the arms, the chi or breath is threaded together continuously. The chi is like a wheel, and the whole body must mutually coordinate. Fourth, internal force or chin. The chin of the whole body through practice becomes one unit. Distinguish clearly between substantial and insubstantial. The chin starts from the foot, is commanded by the waist, and manifested in the fingers and discharged through the spine and back. And lastly, spirit or shen concentrated. Having the above four, then you can return to the concentrated spirit. If the spirit is concentrated, then it is continuous and uninterrupted, and the practice of the chi returns to the shen or spirit. The manifestation of chi moves with agility. When the spirit is concentrated, Opening and closing occur appropriately, and the differentiation of the substantial and insubstantial is clear. The spirit must be completely concentrated. It is important to be completely in the mind and waist, and not outside. Sifu He Yen Lu and his students demonstrate Wu style push hands. Essentials of the practice of form and push hands was written by Master Li Yi Yu, a famous master of the system who was born in 1832 and died in 1892. The following is a translation of a portion of this treatise. Practicing the form every day is the Kung Fu or way of practicing of knowing yourself. Push hands is the Kung Fu of knowing others. As for movement and stillness, although it is to know others, you must still ask yourself. If you arrange yourself well, when others touch you, you don't move a hair. Follow the opportunity 
and meet his chin or internal force and let him naturally fall outward. If you feel some place in your body is powerless, it is double-weighted and unchanging. It is necessary to seek yin and yang, opening and closing. Know yourself and know others. In 100 battles, you will win 100 times. Master Fuzan.